Can we jump to like the high pressure valve and the flash gas bypass valve? This is the things that really in CO2 is probably the, the biggest difference between a standard rack and a synthetic HFC rack. You know, a lot of technicians need more experience in how it's working. So can you give us an idea on, uh, on this one, on these ones here? So do we want to just look at some data or do we want to actually look at how they're set up? A little bit of both, if that's okay. Have you guys got a few okay. minutes, more minutes? Yeah, so oh, yeah. In, in setup, so this rack controller is split into parts. So it's split into suction group, it's oh. gas cooler group, oil control. And then over here, you have your IO mapping in general setup. If you go into main board, this is where you're going to set up in your parameters, like what kind of universal inputs or outputs you're reading on those actual points on the board. And then in, in IO mapping, like this is for our medium temp group here, this is where you're actually going to tell the board which input and which output you're using for certain functions. So on a suction group, your first pressure position is always going to be your suction pressure. Um, your second on a transcritical controller is going to be discharge. And then you have two optional monitoring. You can op you can monitor like your receiver pressure or, or whatever. And then all your temps, your uh, status inputs for like run proofs, your inverter position, that's going to be like your VFD or your variable speed on your gas cooler, um, and then your relay positions for your compressors. The only thing that's special about like the gas cooler section setup is going to be, it has more inverter positions because it has more valve options that it can control and outputs. And it also has stepper output options for where you assign your stepper outputs. Now, one thing is your, on our controllers, your flash gas bypass valve is stepper one. Your high pressure valve is stepper two. That's yep. good to know. That, that has to yes. be done like that because in the software, it's that's just how it is. So a lot of people don't know that. Well, you would think the HPV is first, but stepper one is flash gas bypass valve. Stepper two is HP okay. In, in our manual on one of the pages, it tells you which position it's expecting each assignment to be yeah. the the transcritical controller is a little less flexible in that you it, it's expecting certain you can set you can use any input on the board that's for that function but it's expecting it to be cert, set up in certain ways so it's, it's really important to know that the super pack the normal super pack for like hfc refrigerants is different in that i think you're just your suction discharge pressures have to be a certain set up a certain way but pretty much everything else is kind of open and like the, right there, you got max gas pressure. So 14, 50 PSI would be hundred bar and min gas pressure. Those are pretty important to set up Correct. because that, so, at that point at 1460, that valve should be a hundred percent open, right? Correct. So, so it basically, you have a minimum gas pressure that you want to stay in between, which is going to be transcritical, subcritical, triple critical, all that stuff. So it's the controller is going to pick what, phase it's in what state it's in so low ambient temperatures low 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 this it's probably going to be in subcritical it's probably not yeah. going to get to the transcritical rate summertime it's going to be in that transcritical operation quite a bit i mean you're going to see it pop in and out pop in and out every now and then whatever but it's going to maintain here it's going to maintain in but it's going to try to maintain 680 and 1450 and that's that's where these are these are very important settings and, and that's something to look at. I know I've set up a few controllers where that wasn't set up right. And the high pressure valve was acting up. It was all over the place. Had to readjust that. I think we had it at 1250. We set it up to 1450 all up to hundred bar. And all of a sudden the rack just smoothed it right out. Oh so. yeah. Uh, scroll down, Chris, scroll down to your uh, flash gas bypass valve. Cause the settings are kind of the same uh, right here. So, Receiver target, this is where a lot of people get a little confused. I've heard it several times, but this is your flash tank. This is your flash tank value. So we're trying to maintain 520 PSI in that flash tank. So that's what that valve is going to correlate to. Now you can do target above and target below. This site is set to zero and zero for a reason. So I'll just explain kind of some things that was going on with this site. Um, our flash gas valve never really wanted to find its spot. And anytime I would set this at 540, I'd get my flash tank to 540 and it'd do some weird stuff to the high pressure valve. And I was like, that's not right. So then I did the receiver target above and below. 
it really went out erratic. I mean, the 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 valve would shut down and stay shut down, and it, and and the pressure would creep up so fast that it wouldn't open the valve in time. And and we just had a lot of things going on. So I said, you know what? We're gonna set those to zero zero. We're not gonna let it target above and below. It just wants to stay at five twenty. That's where we're gonna leave it. I had these set at a certain. I don't know who went in there and changed it. Anyways, it is what it is. These were set at a different thing, but. This store is running pretty well. I would say right now it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But back to this is your receiver target. This is your flash tank target. That's what your valve is going to correspond to. Response on and response off times the same thing. Receiver interlock, uh, GC. Make sure. I don't know. I've I've got different viewpoints on it. Everybody says you want those set to GC. I've had it off. I've seen the rack run a lot better with it off, but. Either way, it, 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 there is a command in there that if something happens, it, it shuts down the valve and there's some other commands in there that it's going to do. The only thing that I see that on the recent update we had got taken out is there used to be a gas gradient and you could set up the gas gradient for certain CO2 we're using. So UK used a certain gradient on CO2, like a certain, like they were using refrigerant grade or bone dry or vice versa. Well, they have different grades of refrigerant that these techs are using well, it makes a difference in the background of the software because it has different flow rates and it has different weights to it and so on and so forth. I'm not going to get in boring of that, yeah. but it does it does make a slight difference. And they used to be it. You used to be able to come in here and set those gas gradients for what CO2 you were using. They took that out, but it is what it is. Yeah. And then receiver, min, max pressure, very important to understand because if you were running this as air conditioning, that 600 PSI might be a little low. So you'd have to go <laughs> in and push it up closer to the relief setting. 